Today we're going to be looking through my artifact pieces to make a full set for Yamiko. Since Yamiko doesn't have a devoted set of artifacts crafted specifically for her, I'm going to be using a hodgepodge of two set bonuses that can be any mix of Thundering Fury, Gladiators, Shimanawas, and Emblem of Severed Fate. Now Thundering Fury I don't have any pieces of and I have zero desire to farm that domain for those pieces. Gladiators, I have a bunch of spare pieces lying around from killing bosses. And Shimanawas and Emblem both come from the same domain. So as you can see from the game footage here, I have been spending a lot of resin farming that domain for pieces. My plan here is to save all of the Emblem pieces to try to upgrade Raiden when I see Sixer on the next banner. And I'll use the Shimanawas pieces to look for an upgrade now for Yamiko. I've only collected about 40 Shimanawas pieces so far, but because Yamiko is out right now, I'm eager to get started and I want to play test her. So I'm hoping that between the Shimanawa pieces I've collected so far and the Gladiators pieces I just have lying around, that we're going to make something work. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to start here with the Goblet because I consider that to be the hardest piece that I'm going to have to put together here. I need Electro Damage on the Goblet and then I need the substats to be some mix of Crit and Crit Damage, Attack Percent, Energy Recharge, and Elemental Mastery. Hopefully something I have here can be put together and hopefully I can have it be either Gladiators or Shimanawas. But looking from what I have here, I don't even have a Shimanawas Electro Goblet. I can tell that already. And I have three Gladiator pieces. So let's see what these Gladiator pieces are, because that's ideally what I would want to use the most. Okay, this one's actually pretty decent. It has crit rate on it. It's four substats, so that I could possibly use. This one, not that great. It is four substats, but just has crit damage. The Elemental Mastery is really the only other good stat there. Same thing with this. Four substats. Crit damage is one of them, but really the other substats are not very good. So let's see what else I have. This is a piece I built up when I was farming Pale Flame for Eula. I think I just rolled it to see what the fourth substat would be. It turned out to be defense, but this could be usable. This one, same thing. I rolled it to see what the fourth substat would be. Didn't turn out very good. This one I could definitely use. We might roll into this one to see what the four substats going to be. This one, not very promising. It is four substats, but aside from the crit damage and the elemental mastery, there's really nothing there. This one is a no-go. This one is a no-go. Okay. This one could be good. This is four substats, but it has crit damage, attack percent, and energy recharge. So this is actually a really good contender. We're going to lock that one for sure. This one, no, doesn't have crit or crit damage. Same for this one. And this one has crit rate. So maybe, possibly. So let's roll into this one here. Let's see what the fourth substat's going to be. That's going to be a major deciding factor on whether I'm going to use this off piece here. Okay, plus four. Here we go. Oh, defense. Okay. Not very good, but that's an option. Let's roll into this Noblesse piece here. Let's see how this will turn out. If we get something good with the plus four here, this could turn out pretty good. Okay, crit damage. That's, that's really good. Let's keep rolling on this. Plus eight. Here we go. Oh, HP. Okay, not exciting there. Okay, plus 12, come on. Crit damage. I would settle for attack or energy recharge. Okay, attack is pretty good. I like that. This is probably shaping out to be the piece we're going to use. So we, if we can just get one or two more crit damage rolls. All right, let's go. Plus 16, come on. Crit damage. Yes, crit damage. That's awesome. Okay, I think this is going to be the piece I'm going to use. Two rolls. Let's see if we can get a third roll on crit damage here. Okay, please, please crit damage. I'll settle for attack percent even. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, okay, energy recharge. That's still okay. I don't really want to waste a ton of more fodder on the goblet. I mean, this got two rolls into crit damage, a roll into attack percent, a roll into energy recharge. 
that's pretty average, but I think it's fair. So if we're gonna be using an off-piece goblet, we need two-piece gladiators and we need two-piece shimanawas. So I'm gonna start with the circlets here because that's the next hardest piece to get. We're gonna look through our shimanawas and see if we can get a crit rate or crit damage circlet with also a crit rate or crit damage substat. So let's see what I have here for shimanawas. Okay, that's crit damage is the main stat, but no crit rate. Okay, this one could be good. This has crit damage with crit rate as a substat. HP, defense, HP, 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 elemental mastery. Okay, so this is the only piece that I have going for me. So let's look at my gladiators pieces and see if I can piece something together there. I have a lot more of these. This piece here looks like I tried to roll a four substat at some point, and it looks like it's garbage. It has crit rate and crit damage, but the other three substats are terrible. Crit rate, but no crit damage. Attack percent. Crit damage, has crit rate, and has attack percent, so this could be okay. Healing bonus, healing bonus, healing bonus. For some reason, I keep saving all my healing bonus circlets, because I never know when they might come in handy, so... Elemental Mastery. This has crit damage, but no crit rate. So we could try to roll that one and see if we get crit rate. Attack percent. Crit damage, but no crit rate. We could try that one. Healing bonus. Defense. And healing bonus. Let's start with the Shimanawas. Let's see if we can get this one going. If this one rolls crit rate, this could be usable. No. Attack percent. Oh, wait, I wanted attack percent on that. It already had crit rate. So that's actually awesome. Attack percent is kind of what I wanted. So let's go ahead and boost this to plus eight. If we get crit rate on this, this would actually turn out pretty solid. No, defense. Let's try plus 12, just because it's the only Shimanawa's piece I have. I, I feel like I have to try. So let's try plus 12. Here we go. Okay, crit rate. All right, not bad. Plus 16, attack percent, okay, that's actually not terrible. Let's just go ahead and take this to plus 20. This could be really promising. Another roll into crit rate, and this could be usable. Okay, come on, crit rate, let's go. Oh, defense percent, okay. Oh, uh, that's tragic. That could actually be a decent off piece for like Edo maybe. Let's go back to gladiators here and let's see if we can roll some fourth substats and maybe get what we want here. Let's try this, see how this turns out. Uh, HP, nope, that's a no-go. Let's go. Uh, defense, okay, that's a no-go. Now this would be the last one I have left. Let's see if we can get some crit rate rolls on here. It is a four substat piece. Okay, crit rate. Okay, so let's let's push this. Let's see what we can get. Plus eight, crit rate again. Okay, that's awesome. Let's go. Oh man, and I still have three more upgrades and I've already gotten two into crit rate. Crit rate, come on. Oh, flat attack. Okay. That's okay. This is still usable. If we can just get one more crit rate on the next two rolls. Plus 16. Okay, crit rate again. 14%. That's really high. Oh, man. And I still have one more roll. All right, please. Plus 20. This is it. This is do or die. If I can get crit rate here, that would be stellar. Let's go. Oh, crit rate. Yes, 2.7%. Not that great of a roll, but that's four rolls into crit rate. That's really good. 16.7%. That is really good. I think that's the highest crit rate circlet I've ever rolled. Honestly, that has to be the highest one. That's insane. So these are all my artifacts sorted by crit rate. And these first seven artifacts, crit rate is the main stat. And then this is it. 16.7. This is the highest percent crit rate I've ever rolled. So that's really stellar. Just amazing. So we have our off-piece goblet here. We have our gladiator circlet. We're going to start with sands here because that's the next hardest piece to get. 
and I would like it to be Shimanawa, so I have a little bit more flexibility in the flower and the plume. So let's see what we can do here. We want energy recharge or attack percent as the main stat, and then the same substats that we've kind of been looking for, crit rate or crit damage. Okay, we have attack percent with crit rate for substat. That's okay, but not promising. Attack percent, no crit rate or crit damage. Attack percent, no crit rate or crit damage. HP, no. Attack percent with crit rate. If that rolled crit damage, that could be okay. No. Elemental Mastery, HP, okay. These aren't very good. Let's see if we can get crit damage on this real quick. Let's just see. Defense, no. Okay, so Shimanawas does not look very promising here. So we're going to have to hope that the Flower and the Plume are decent with Shimanawas. Otherwise, we might be in a lot of trouble here. Let's check my Gladiator's pieces. HP, Defense, no. Come on. Okay, this one's decent. I've saved this one for a while, I think. Energy recharge, crit damage, attack percent, and elemental mastery. That could be really promising. Okay, this has attack percent with crit rate and crit damage. That one I've obviously probably saved for a while. No. Okay. So yeah, I've had some gladiators pieces I've been sitting on for a long time, it looks like. No energy re... Oh, wow. Oh, that could be really good if i got attack percentage on that or elemental mastery that could be really good yeah we have some options here let's let's try this one i really really want to know what the fourth substat's going to be on this one. Oh hp oh that's that's kind of brutal but let's let's keep going we're gonna take it just avoid hp honestly okay crit rate that's a pretty good roll too for crit rate just avoid HP. Avoid HP. Like the plague. Ooh, flat attack. That's actually not even that great either. Plus 16. Here we go. Crit damage. Okay. Yeah, I think this is worth taking to 20. It's a really solid piece in general. Even if I didn't use it uh, for Yamiko here, this is actually a pretty decent piece. So let's just take it to 20, see where it lands. Oh, flat attack. Oh, man. So what was that? One roll into crit rate, one roll into crit damage. Yeah, that didn't turn out as great as I would have liked. Let's check this one out. This is energy recharge. Let's see where we land here. If we get a bunch of crit damage rolls, this can still be usable. All right, come on, crit damage. Oh, elemental mastery. Let's just try plus eight see what we get if we don't get crit damage we're gonna pass on this one all right crit damage no okay so we're not we're not gonna go with that one some of these attack percentage ones seem promising but i don't have a ton of fodder left so i'm gonna switch to plume and flower and see what i can get with shimanawas at least make sure i get a plus 21 that's decent so with shimanawas i tried to build this piece a while ago it's plus 12 it has crit rate and crit damage and energy recharge but then it kept rolling into hp percent so that is an option if push comes to shove i can use that but let's see what other ones i have here no no okay that one's awesome that's a pretty solid piece there okay this one could turn out pretty good too crit rate uh, if that one rolled crit damage that would be all right same thing here Okay, there's some okay options here. Let's start with this one. Let's see if we can get attack percent or even elemental mastery would be probably fine. Let's go. Oh, defense. Oh, energy recharge. Oh, that kind of hurts a little bit. If we don't get crit rate or crit damage on plus 12, we are definitely skipping on this. Here we go. Okay, crit rate. All right, here we go on 16. Oh, oh defense. Okay, well, that one, oh, that just did not turn out very good. Oh, that's, that's so tragic. Let's check some of these other ones and see what the plus 4 gives us as the 4 substat. Here we go. Uh, attack percent no that's not gonna work okay let's see if we can get crit damage on here nope defense that's garbage K 
okay, and let's see if we get crit damage on here. Nope, defense. Okay, so we're going to have to settle for one of these two. This one has a little bit more viability, so let's... Let's go. We've got two more rolls on this. Let's see if we can get some more crit rate or crit damage. I've only gotten one crit rate roll. Plus 16. Come on. Okay. Crit damage. That actually turned out decent. Let's just take it to plus 20. I think this is the piece I'm going to have to settle on. So let's just max it out. All right. Last roll. Here we go. Oh, HP. Oh, all right. But for now, I think this is where we're going to settle. For the plume here, I barely have any pieces, so this could be just as tragic. I might just end up having a really bad plume, and I'll just have to compensate for it later. But let's see what we have here. Crit rate and energy recharge. No. Garbage. Oh, garbage. Oh, even worse. Oh my god, those are awful. Well, this is a four substat with crit rate. So let's let's just give this one a whirl. Can we land on crit rate? Oh, HP. No. Why do I have a feeling like this is just gonna shoot me in the foot here? Well, let's see the plus four here into crit rate, please. Okay, energy recharge. That's okay. All right, plus 12 here into crit rate, please. Uh, HP again. Oh my god. I don't know what to do here. This is the only option I have at the moment. I really just need this piece to work. Alright, so we're just gonna let this ride. The next two upgrades, I'm using this piece no matter what, because I have to use Shimanawa's. So let's just push it to 20. Let's see if we can get at least one roll into crit rate, please. And then we'll just have to keep farming pieces when we farm Emblem for Raiden and get some more Shimanawas. We've just got to replace these pieces eventually, right? So, but for now, let's go. We're riding it out. Plus 20. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> both into defense. What are you doing to me? Come on, game. Oh, that's brutal. That is brutal brutal i don't i don't even know what to say to that i mean i have to kind of use it don't i it's 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 all i've got the other pieces are garbage so okay well for now it's that's gonna have to do i mean i don't see what else i can do here so everything else turned out pretty decent we're just gonna have to take that in stride for now i think we'll do these pieces here so so here's the final tally. We have the two-piece Shimanawas. We have the two-piece Gladiators. Boosting attack as much as possible with the set bonuses there. From artifacts alone, we've gotten 33% from crit rate, 104% crit damage, and 83% energy recharge. So like I said, I am going to be farming a lot more in the future for the emblem set for Raiden. By doing that, I will continue to get more Shimanawa pieces for Yamiko and can hopefully upgrade that awful plume. I mean, it hurts me just thinking about how terrible that plume is. I am going to be C6ing Raiden in the next banner coming up, so I want to get her as powerful as possible. Please stay tuned for that as I plan on live streaming those wishes on her banner release. It's probably going to be between 500 and 700 wishes. You can hit that subscribe button to receive notifications for that, and if you did make it this far into the video, know that I appreciate you, and I hope to see you in the next one.